the financial services industry has been at the forefront of digital transformation. Technological developments has driven new services and new service providers. Fintechs, but also big techs, have entered uh, the market, as you know. Uh, in other words, uh, the entire financial market uh, has uh, been disrupted. Uh, the positive side is that consumers will be able to enjoy more innovative, swifter, and personalized uh, services. Uh, however, to fully reap all the benefits of digitalization, the EU has uh, to continue to ensure that competition, data privacy, and security are respected while allowing the sector to lead in innovation. So at the Commission, we believe that uh, digitalization in finance uh, brings first lots of opportunities, so opportunities for consumers, for businesses, for the financial industry itself, because it, because it will bring efficiencies. Um, for us as policymakers, it brings also all sorts of challenges, of course, and probably new risk that we need to assess carefully. Uh, in the past two, three years, we have acted a lot to support innovation in finance. We took important legislative initiatives with PSD2, with the crowdfunding regulation. We took also important steps, non-legislative, with the FinTech Action Plan. For us, digital is the future and how to better serve our customers. We're moving toward a platform model where customers will see financial services as a key to many other things that can benefit them. We want to see more customer choice and view digital transformation as a means to preserve that choice and provide more options to the customer. The financial services sector is undergoing considerable disruption as part of the digitalization process. As part of that, there is an opportunity to create better solutions with banks, merchants and for consumers. As part of this change, there's considerable challenge. And one of the main areas of challenge is with regulation. Not the high level regulation, but I think more in the technical detail areas. That's where the devil really is in the detail here. If we look at banks, they have a significant challenge in migrating legacy systems to be able to keep up with the uh, regulatory requirements now. And for the fintechs, it's really important for them to have the support from banks to be able to offer a proposition to merchants and customers. And then if we look at um, from a broader perspective, I think there's a great opportunity here for the single market to be further developed. Um, we have an opportunity to take uh, a single European way to pay for anyone with a European bank account to pay any European merchant. And I think that's something we should be genuinely excited about.